Hello and welcome to the FIFA 20 Team of the Week 16 predictions. Now to start off, if you are new to the channel, please do leave a like and a subscription whether you're into your FIFA, your gaming or your European football. There's plenty to watch on this channel. Now second of all, the Team of the Week this week isn't going to be the greatest. The main reason why is because of course the European leagues like the Bundesliga, the Serie A, the Liga and are all on winter breaks. So it is going to be a very heavily Premier League dominated team. Now I've not made a actual proper team prediction, but I've picked out players that might get into the team of the week based on their performances. A couple of these cards as well aren't just for one game. The Premier League, of course, did play two games in the last week. So there could be a couple of players that are actually from the same team that make it into the side. And finally, these players will be available at Team of the Year for the first two days. So expect them to be a little cheaper than usual. So without further ado, let's get into the Team of the Week predictions. So we start off with Ben Foster, who was actually in my predictions last week. I've put him in again. I don't think he's going to make it. He got two saves in a 3-0 win versus Aston Villa. Watford were down to 10 men early in the second half. As I said before, I don't think he's going to get in. I've got another player from Watford from the same game that we'll probably get in that we'll talk about later. We move on to Samba of Nottingham Forest. He got himself a penalty save and a clean sheet in a 1-0 win versus Wigan. Now, it was really hard to find out goalkeepers this week. There's not a great deal of goalkeepers. So Samba seems like one of the most likely candidates to get into the side. And talking about a lack of candidates, there's also been a lack of centre-back candidates as well. Uh, picked out Daniel Ayala. He got himself one goal and a clean sheet in a 2-0 win versus West Brom. I would say he's very likely to get into the team of the week with the real lack of centre-back options. Now onto the next page we've got Barisic of Rangers. He got himself two assists in a 2-1 win against Celtic in the Old Firm derby that was played yesterday. It was a great game of football. Morelos gets, well, got himself sent off for the 100th time but Rangers did get their win and it was fantastic to see uh, Gerard's celebrations at the end of the game. I would say he will get in because of the stature of the match. Now we've got Matt Doherty, uh, Doherty sorry, in the middle of the park. Uh, I put him in here. He's got one goal in a 3-2 win versus Man City. Now once again, like Ben Foster, I don't think he's going to get in. I've got another candidate from this same game from Wolves. And finally... I've got Gibril Sidibe. He got himself one assist and a clean sheet against Burnley in a 1-0 win. I do think there's a potential possibility for him to get into the team of the week. But I have got another Everton player for a different game. Now, I accidentally forgot to put in Alexander-Arnold as well, which was uh, very silly of me. Of course, he got himself one goal and two assists in a 4-0 win against Leicester City. He will 100% be in the team of the week. And it looks like a pretty tasty upgrade, potentially before his team of the year card. The only reason why you might not get in is because he could be part of the team of the year defenders. But we'll find out, of course, on Wednesday. But on to the next three players, we've got Aaron Moy. He got himself one goal in a 2-0 win against Bournemouth. Of course, in the past, getting himself quite a fair few decent informed, but that's not looking like the greatest of cards. We've got Nikolai Muller. You might remember him from previous FIFA's been in the Bundesliga. He got himself two goals in a 3-2 victory uh, for Western Sydney against Adelaide United. I do think he's going to get into the team of the week. It would be a position change as well from a right mid to a cam. So he's, he's an all right card, but of course he will be discard value. And the next player that I think will definitely 1,000% being team of the week is Atiba Hutchinson. Now, the Canadian got himself one goal and three assists in a 4-1 win versus uh, Jenkler Bel Beligi. I think it's pronounced. I've butchered it. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, he will definitely get in there. One goal, three assists, uh, a massive performance from Hutchinson. And uh, if you've got a Super League team, it's not the worst card, but, of course, it's not the best. Now on to the next three players. They're all, all from the Premier League. Uh, we start off with Jack Grealish. He got himself one assist in a 1-0 win versus Norwich City. I do think he would get in. 
I'm not going to lie, it's not the greatest performance in the world, but because there's a real lack of options this week, I'm pretty sure he's going to get in. It's not a bad card, but it will probably be close to discard value, especially with Team of the Year being out as this Team of the Week is in packs. And talking about someone who will be relatively cheap as well, we've got Jorginho. He got himself one goal against Arsenal in a 2-1 win yesterday. It was a London derby and Arsenal were leading 1-0 before goals from Tammy Abraham and Jorginho. I do think he is going to get in the Team of the Week. Of course, he should have probably been sent off in the game, but he is down on the pitch and got a very vital goal to get Chelsea three points. So I think he'll get into the side. And finally on this page, we've got uh, Iose Perez. He got himself two assists in a 2-1 win versus West Ham. Uh, they played quite a week in the side, Leicester, but they still got the three points. And that looks like a pretty decent card. Of course, his first in form being a right winger, this being a cam. Now we go on to the next page and we've got a, a player you might remember from previous FIFAs for being a silver slash gold legend of the game. It's Marco Sau. He got himself a hat trick in a 4-0 win versus Ascoli. Now, if you were hoping for him to be a striker, unfortunately not. He played as a left winger, so I would assume EA will put him as a left winger. We then move on to Anima Traore. He got himself one goal, one assist in a 3-2 win versus Manchester City. I think he's more likely to get in than Matt Doherty, to be honest. Uh, I think in terms of the cards this week, he'd be one of the standout players for people to get in packs, although he wouldn't go for much anyway because he already has a scream card. I think he'll get in, to be honest. Uh, and then we've got Hamdala, of course, you'll remember him from previous FIFAs for the stupid amount of informs and that ridiculous team of the season last year. He got himself a hat-trick in a 4-1 win versus Al Feja. 100% nailed on to get into the team of the week. The real question is, how many informs is he going to get this year? Now on to the next three players. There's two players you might recognise from the past. First one, Demba Barr. He got himself two goals in a 5-1 win versus Kasim Passer. We've got Calvert-Lewin. He got himself two goals and man of the match in a 2-1 win versus Newcastle. I think he's nailed on to getting team of the week. Of course, Sidibe being from a different game. And Calvert-Lewin also scored in that 1-0 home win versus Burnley. So I think he should get in a decent looking discard in form, I would say. And finally, we've got uh, Cissé, of course, the ex-Newcastle United striker. He got himself two goals in a 2-1 win versus Konya Spore. Now, there's not been a great deal of hat-tricks, so all of the three players on the screen all got two goals in their games. Now, Dini got two goals in a 3-0 win versus Aston Villa. I believe he will get in over Ben Foster. Um, I don't think Foster will get in with a lack of saves and uh, the quality of his performance. So Dini should get in there. Uh, we've got Renamal Falcao. He got himself two goals in a 5-0 win versus Antalya Spore. I think he will definitely get in there. One of the high rated cards of this team of the week. And finally, he will 100% be in there, surely. Anthony Martial. It's a position change from the wing to a striker. Two goals in a 4-1 win against Newcastle. I would say that would be the most expensive card and the most sought-after card in Team of the Week. So, overall, that is the Team of the Week 16. It is pretty underwhelming, but of course, when all of the big leagues aren't playing, you can't expect it to be the greatest Team of the Week in the world. So, of course, uh, do leave a like and a subscription, as always, and put in the comments who you'd like to be in the Team of the Week. There are probably a couple of players I have missed out in there. Of course, a lot of EFL players I'll have missed out on. But we'll, we'll be back next week for Team of the Week 17, where, of course, they'll be out when Team of the Year is in packs and La Liga should be back as well to make the team of the week a little bit more exciting. So thank you very much for watching the video and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.